Coding for Fun also featured at PDC09 with Project Warthog, a real world game based on Halo's Warthog vehicle. Creator Tim Higgins took me through the details. Fantastic. So, so the object of the exercise is, is for us to both have one and be able to shoot each other, isn't it? Well, it, yeah, it actually will go up to, um, there's two players, so if, it, it will work with a single player by hitting A, I'm now into gunner mode, <laughs> so I can now be shooting. So it's not you're not working on, on a separate stick then. I no, thought you might no, have the no. gun on the, the, the well, machine on one. You gotta you kind of play it like the warthog game. In the warthog, you're either driver or gunner. Oh come so on, yeah, yeah. Go back to A and you can immediately <laughs> go back to A. Now, if I have um, like, uh, like earlier, we had six people out here playing. Gotcha. And uh, we were all out here, you know, having a big laser tag game. Yeah, fantastic. And then basically, when you get hit, um, I do have the force feedback and the controls also wired up, so you'll get you know, feedback that you've been hit. Okay, so what I'm doing is yep. um, using fidget devices. This yep. one down here is the what they call the uh, interface board. It's the 004 board. And what it basically is, is just four relays. Yep. What I use is I use those four relays, two are for the steering, two are for the transmission. Okay, so what I do is I turn it into what they would call a double pull, double throw switch. Now, if you, I'm gonna flip the seat here real quick. Okay. And if you look, all I'm using is I'm using automotive relays. So yeah. I turn around and use the, the fidget relays to energize the automotive relays. I get a lot higher amperage. The reason why is because of the motors. These motors here, though they look small, if you have a stall, they, they have a high stall rate of, of in, as much as 80 amps. Well, that'll blow the fidget devices. These, if I blow one of these, it's $1.50 to replace it. So it's not a major deal. Cool. And so from there, what I've got is I've got the Fidget 888 device, and that has basically eight digital inputs, eight digital outputs, and it has uh, eight in analog inputs. So then what I've done is I've gotten their two relay daughter board and basically a voltage board. So the two relays allows me to sit there and say again that I've been, uh, I want to pull the trigger. So it's just a switch. And the other one is, okay, I, since I want you all to reload, when, I've, when you've shot eight times, I automatically reload the gun for you. The voltage board, basically, again, we hooked into the um, electronics of the gun. So when there's a voltage spike, I know that you've been shot. And, and that, that's facilitated up here by the, uh, the illumination that you were correct, doing. Correct, yeah. correct. So I hook right into here. Now, we also did this up as, as an RJ45. Yeah. Uh, wire so that way I'm totally versatile so if I want to take the laser guns off and I had a water gun on here before um, used an automotive um, windshield washer pump yeah yeah and so now I have a water gun fantastic so um, but you could do paintball paint you know uh, airsoft pretty much your your choice yeah. now I am using back here the servo board from fidgets this is a, a probably li the probably the biggest overkill um, this is an eight servo board. Yeah. They've got a smaller one, which is just a single, and that was probably the better way to go. But at the time of prototype, we didn't know. Now, to give you an idea for the uh, steering um, on this thing, yeah. well, maybe I'll talk about the PC first. On the PC, again, we are using Microsoft Message Queue. I use the controller to speak to a, um, the uh, controllers to the PC receiver. If that turns around and is done through an XNA library, the main program simply acts as a traffic cop. So it looks, it's got two functions. It's basically driver, gunner. I pass the state of the controller to it. It's either current state, previous state. You turn around and say, did something change? It did. Throw a message into a queue. The queues are the console apps that are behind it. Like in this case here, um, let me get to that one. As you'll notice, it says forward, 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 neutral, reverse. Um, those are all the different commands that it was processing. Yep. And whenever you see a 50, basically, what we do is um, to keep from blowing circuits, because what I've done is it's basically produced a double pull, double throw switch. So to, to keep it so that I haven't got both energized at the same time, whenever you change direction on me, I purposely turn everything off and then I turn the other one on. So that okay. way I, I don't
guess. I just say you're both dead. Energize the opposite. So that way I never have to worry about blowing a, a, a relay or a board. So then it processes. these. Each of these engines run about 20 times a second. Um, it's using the message queue, so it kind of makes it really simple and easy. People, people have said, well, that seems like a lot of overkill. Yeah. But the reality is, um, the reality is on this little EPC, my CPU utilization is probably somewhere around 8%, yeah. 9%. So there's tons of room. Now, in the front for the steering, the, a lot of people have tried to modify these things. And what they've used is they've used um, servos. The problem is it's it's too much um, overkill, or, or too much underkill, not enough power. Yeah. So what am I using? What that is is the track out of an electric car seat, out of, not electric car seat, the, the seat in your cars. Oh, gotcha. How you goes forward and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the track. So for each seat, you get two of them. So I had only needed two of them, and it's 12 volts. So the nice thing about it, it's got a nice flexible tube, so it's easy to hook onto. Yeah. And mount into it. And then for the steering, I simply have limiting switches. So this tells me how much I'm going to allow you to turn. So it's a very simplistic concept behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and it works fantastic. <laughs> it's a great bit of fun. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, Tim, thank you very much for taking us through it. Not a problem. Not a problem.